sorry for the size of the room, but we kept trying to figure out the best time to have this press conference. Uh, it's our logistics press conference, and it's really important to, to, to have this at, at the right time. And based on everything that was going on, we didn't know when the Jaguars were going to have announcements or, or um, we have announcements on some other things like AEW and things like that. So we wanted to uh, just get together. We decided we'd do it in here. I know it's tight, and I apologize, but I think it's a – real important. My name is Rick Catlett. I'm president of the Gator Bowl. My job is to talk about overview of the weekend. Um, there's a lot going on, obviously. Um, New Year's Eve, we have the Vistar run. Uh, then we have the New Year's Eve fireworks tonight, thanks to the city of Jacksonville. Um, and then New Year's Day, we start off uh, team pep rallies down at the beach. Uh, it's at it, where uh, Beach Boulevard ends into the beach it's at the beach pavilion uh and there's also a pretty cool thing going on down there uh deck the chairs which will be going so if you've got young people you should definitely take them down there to, to pull for tennessee or for indiana and get an opportunity to see some really beautiful uh decked trees uh you keep coming over to game day and then you've got the uh, gator bowl tailgate party which is in um, daly's place in the flex field what's interesting about this this facility is we've spent hundreds of millions of dollars to build an all-inclusive facility. So we don't just play football here. We have concerts here, and we have an opportunity to create tailgate parties similar to what we did at Georgia, Florida. Uh, we will continue to do that in the flex field, and it gives great price points for everybody. It's free. If you've got a ticket to the game, you can come in and watch the concert for free. If you don't have a ticket to the game, you can go to the flex field and have fun in the tailgate party. So we're trying to make the 75th game sort of special. Uh, did I miss anything, Katie? AEW on Sunday, or not Sunday, tomorrow. It should be Sunday in my mind. Uh, AEW, I don't know if y'all know about that, but it's really the new wave in, in professional wrestling. Uh, Tony Khan and Mr. Khan have invested in that, and they're bringing it here to Jacksonville. Uh, it will be covered live by Fox. Uh, so it's really um, something special that we're really excited about. And I don't know if I missed anything else, but some other private parties that, that the public doesn't really know about. Um, I think the message from us is that we're excited about our 75th game. We've put on a lot of public events this week. Uh, Tennessee's fired up and they're bringing tons of fans. Indiana is likewise fired up and bringing a great group of people. Uh, both teams sold their allotment out. Right now we're a little over 56,000 tickets sold. We really believe that we'll reach the 60,000 mark, which means it's a big crowd which means that everything you're going to hear from here in is very, very important to try to get out to the public because if they think they can just drive down here and in 15 minutes get here and get in the gates, it's not going to happen this year. So we want to really stress that as much as we can and to kick that off really the people that, that make it all happen. And I know you guys have been around a long time. Uh, we have the, the finest group of, of professionals that protect us, that move people around the town, uh, from the mayor's office and the support we get there all the way down to, what's your new name of your company? ASM Global. ASM Global, which I used to call SMG. Um, police department, fire department, it's just amazing uh, how professional these guys are. And they do it 10, 12 times a year. Uh, they've got it down pat. Uh, but this is going to be a big game in a lot of people, and I think that's my message. And uh, now I'll introduce Mike Kenny, who um, runs SMG A. S ASM Global, Mike. He doesn't run it. Bill runs it, but he runs the stadium. Thanks, Rick. Well, first, uh, congratulations to the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl um, on their 75th uh, game. That's a huge historic accomplishment. We're just happy to be a part of that. Um, Want to just run down a couple of highlights and timelines for uh, game day specifically. Uh, the first thing that'll happen public facing is our parking lots. All of the ASM Global controlled parking lots um, open up at 2 o'clock. Um, it's 2 o'clock p.m. and please don't arrive early before then. Um, any vehicles that are parked overnight will be towed um, on the morning of game day prior to the parking lots opening. Um, please have your parking lot passes, um, their hang tag passes, please have them visible um, for JSO to uh, accommodate our traffic plan which they'll speak to in just a few minutes. Um, if you do not currently have a parking space uh, reserved, the best option for you at this point is to ride our JTA Game Day Express Shuttle, which more information will come uh, in, in the following few minutes as well. 
Our box office opens up at 4 o'clock. The box office on game day is located between gates 2 and 3. Um, in the days leading to game day, including today, um, the will call operation is here at the Taxlayer Bowl uh, office. Um, the Taxlayer Gator Bowl tailgate party that Rick spoke about before opens up at 3 o'clock. That's in the Daly's Place Flex Field. As Rick mentioned, you do not have to have a ticket to go there. Um, it's not required. Um, at any point in the time, it does close at 6.30, so it's not the destination to watch the game if you don't have a ticket, but you're certainly invited to come and enjoy the festivities there. Um, and then shortly after that, the stadium early gates open up at 4 o'clock. That's gates 1, 4, and 7. Those gates will accommodate fans coming into the stadium with their stadium game day ticket. Um, and we encourage you to get here early, not just for purposes of security screening, but the, both universities are holding a pep rally in Daly's Place in the amphitheater portion of Daly's Place, as well as the concert that Rick spoke about um, in addition to that, which will start at 5 p.m. Um, sharp at 5 p.m., all other stadium gates will open. Um, so every stadium gate, whether you're coming to Daly's Place, the early activities early or not, they will open up at 5 o'clock, and we encourage you to get to the stadium then at 5 o'clock. Please do not wait till 7 o'clock or 15 minutes before that to come to the stadium on game day. Um, a lot of that is because we will have metal detection screening. Um, we do have a clear bag policy that will be enforced. There's several prohibited items. Those items are listed on both our Jack's Events website as well as taxlayerbowl.com websites. Um, please view those before coming to the game. Um, just some general details. The clear bag policy um, enacts that no clear bag larger than 12 by 6 by 12 may come in. It's the same policy that's used on game day for our NFL games. Um, Non-clear bags that we'll refer to as clutches will be allowed in so long as they are not larger than 6 by 4. That's about the size um, of the palm of your hand. So anything larger than the palm of your hand um, is not allowed in on game day unless it's clear. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock. It's nationally, uh, it's broadcasted nationally on ESPN. Uh, Rick also alluded to several private parties. Uh, those are inside the stadium footprint. If you're attending those private parties, please have your credential, your ticket, and your invite uh, with you um, as staff will be available at, at all areas of the stadium, specifically and concentrated at the gates to help guide fans and guests to those specific parties. There are multiple different parties, all of which are hosted in different areas of the stadium. Um, we're prepared to get you there. Um, with that, I'll ask that Chief Andre you come up and talk a little bit about, about public safety and traffic. Good morning. I'm Andre Ayoub, Chief of Special Events for the Jackson Sheriff's Office. Before I get started, I want to thank the media for joining us today and uh, helping us get this important information out to the fans. We are excited to partner with the Tax Lawyer Gator Bowl Committee, Indiana University, the University of Tennessee, and the City of Jackson for this event. Here's what you need to know, and I'm gonna reiterate some of the things that Mike Kennedy mentioned, but it's important information for our fans. On game day, park lots open at 2 p.m. If you'd like to see kickoff, we advise that you're in your parking spot three hours ahead of game time, so plan on being parked by 4 p.m. Gates 1, 4, and 7 open at 4 p.m. All gates open at 5 p.m. When the gates open, our focus will shift to pedestrian traffic. It will be dark when the game is over, so we suggest taking a picture where you park so you can locate your vehicle after the game. So let me quickly recap. Parking lots open at 2 p.m. Be in your parking spots three hours early. All gates open at 5 p.m. Take a picture where you park so you can locate your vehicle after the game. To our visitors, welcome. We hope you enjoy our great city. Thank you for being here and Happy New Year. And now I'd like to do Chief Powers with the fire department. Good morning. My name's Keith Powers. I'm the Chief of the Jackson Fire and Rescue Department. I just got a couple quick things. I'm kind of going to go over some of the same things they already have, but just letting the people that are coming to this game know that uh, the city of Jacksonville is committed to making sure that you have a fun and safe experience. Um, on the, tomorrow on the 1st, between 5 and 7.30, there'll be the, the team pep rallies at Jacksonville uh, Beach Seawalk Pavilion. We'll have that covered and staffed. 
Um, the Tax Slayer tailgate party at the Flex Field on the 2nd at 3 o'clock will have staffed with uh, fire and rescue uh, personnel. Um, then starting at 4.15, the team pep rallies and the short concert that are happening in the Daly's Place pit will have personnel in there to make sure everybody has a safe time. And then, of course, the game. And that will be staffed as we normally do uh, most of our games. We'll have personnel that are covering the inside of the stadium, the exterior of the stadium, um, and four med rooms that will be staffed and to make sure that everybody coming has a fun and safe experience. If you need, if you need some help in the stadium, just reach out to any of the uh, staff that you see and they can get us and get, you, get us to your area and get, and get you taken care of. And the last thing I'll say is I want to remind everybody to have a fun and safe time, have a plan, and remember, do not drink and drive. So I've always said this for the last 25 years or so. Uh, the best way to come to the game is on JTA. So, David, if you'd come up here and give us some tips on what we're running in the shuttles and all of that. Great. Thanks, Rick. Thanks. Good morning. I'm David Cotton, Communications Manager for the Jacksonville Transportation Authority. On behalf of the JTA, we'd like to welcome all of the fans who have decided to spend their New Year's with us here in Jacksonville and for the game. Uh, in addition to our normal public transportation options that we will have, the JTA has a few different options for game days. That starts with the Game Day Express. As we've said, these are the quickest ways for you to get to the game in and out of the stadium. For the Gator Bowl, we have two JTA park and ride locations that will be open. Uh, fans on the South Bank can park at our Kings Avenue parking garage. That is at 1201 Kings Avenue. It's connected to the Kings Avenue Skyway Station. And that's a great option for fans who are staying at those hotels on the South Bank. Then on the North Bank, fans can park near the Prime Osborne Convention Center, near the corners of Lee and Forsyth Streets, and across from the new Jacksonville Regional Transportation Center at La Villa. Parking is included with your Game Day Express tickets. Those lots will open three hours before the game and will continue uh, up until an hour after the game ends. Those tickets are only $8 when you decide to go cashless and use the MyJTA app. That's a free download from your app store. Those tickets are $9 if you decide to, to uh, pay without the app. Again, we begin three hours uh, before kickoff. The last shuttles will leave TIA Bank Field uh, approximately one hour after the game ends. We also will have the Skyway open extended hours on Thursday as well. That Skyway will operate uh, through 11.30 p.m. So we can get you back and forth from the North Bank and the South Bank. One last thing, the Skyway is open late tonight until 1 a.m. if you do decide to come downtown and watch the fireworks. Also, please be mindful of the list of prohibited items that you cannot bring into the stadium. JTA will not be able to hold those possessions for you on our buses. Of course, you can find more information at JTA FLA on our social media pages. Thank you. I'm sorry. What was that South Bank address again? 1201 Kings Avenue. King, oh, thank you. Yes, sir. Thanks. Thanks. So a couple of things. First, thanks to the mayor and, and Daniel Davis of the Chamber of Commerce. They have sent a letter out to all the business leaders in downtown Jacksonville to discuss uh, an option of their employees leaving at 3 o'clock. I think the faster we can get the people that are working downtown that are not coming to the game out of the downtown area, it certainly simplifies the traffic motion. We have to remember one very important thing. There are 30 to 35,000 people coming to this game, many of which have never been to a football game in this stadium, especially the Indiana people. So the more we can be friendly, cordial, welcoming to the city of Jacksonville, but at the same time being aware that there'll be a lot of people in this town moving around that are uh, not knowing where they're going. And so as much as you can help us and help the police keep everybody safe and moving and getting into the parking lots, that will really increase the game. A couple things on tickets. I wanted to just tell you that this year, as everybody in our business is going to mobile tickets, we have a tremendous number of mobile tickets out there. We also have hard tickets. Please do not buy tickets from a source that you're not very comfortable with because there's going to be a lot of counterfeiting of tickets. And we know that with a crowd like this, uh, with as many lower level sideline tickets that have been sold out, basically the lower bowl is completely sold out. So just be careful. We're starting to get some calls on, on that. I do want to remind everybody that will call is here at this office. It'll be here today, but tomorrow it will be at sneakers at Jacksonville beach around the pep rallies. 
So if you're coming down supporting your fans and you want to get your, pick up your parking passes, that's the place to go, Jacksonville Beach. And then on game day between gates two and three at the nine windows, uh, I don't think y'all call it that anymore, but it's at the north end zone. Uh, those uh, will calls will be available for both teams and the general fan. So that's what we've got. Um, I'm sure there's some questions of certainly one of these gentlemen, but I'll open it up for a Q&A if there's anybody that has any questions. Hey, Rick, the weather looks pretty good. What's your anticipation about a walk-up sale? Last time we had Tennessee, we had over 2,000 people walk up. So we really do believe we'll reach 60,000. No, we'll, we'll have that whole area down there open. Everything will be open on the north end of the stadium for, for purchasing of tickets. And what's great about what, uh, what our volunteers, uh, they'll be in the green coats, the ambassadors to tell people where to go. Uh, the stadium also runs a tremendous amount of information spots around the stadium. If you see anybody in, a, in, a, in an official looking shirt or a green jacket or a police officer, please feel free to approach them and ask them where things are. Also, I think in the past week, to, to that point, you issued a little bit of a call for game day volunteers. Do you still need some people yes. to sign up? Yes. Yeah. It would certainly be uh, great if anybody out there in the public wants to volunteer. Uh, you get a free ticket to the game. And where do they go if they want Right to here to this so office. Just come to the Gator Bowl Come office. to the Gator Bowl offices. You can go online. Uh, there's a website that you could go online, and, and it's probably easier for you to do, and that's uh, taxlayergatorbowl.com. Volunteer tab. Anybody back there? Yes, sir. I'm good. Everybody good? Thanks a lot for coming. Appreciate it. Hey, Happy New Year, everybody.